Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. General reminder for those who do not know, MIC is having a one year anniversary event coming up August 17th. Mark your calendars where Bao is going to be trading live in front of our members. As an added benefit to our members, the event is entirely and 100% free, only though exclusive for annual and lifetime members. While lifetime, on top of that, get extra coaching before the event and guaranteed front row seating. While most charge for these events, we show our support by making it free again for all annual and lifetime members. If you are interested in signing up and or attending this event, DM T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat and or email myself at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. Now, we have a very special video for you guys today as Austin, who goes by Aloha Trader, one of our head moderators in chat, talks about his trades on BABA, B-A-B-A, and F-L, and these are large cap stocks. Now, while today is just a preview of the full-length video, if you want to watch the full-length or any of our exclusive content, then become an MIC member. Hey, everybody. Austin here. Uh, Going to do another trade recap <coughs> uh, here today. But before I do, I want to say I'm not licensed or registered, I'm not a financial advisor, and none of this should be taken as investment advice, even if it sounds like it. Okay, so uh, I wanted to do a recap of a couple large cap trades I made um, last week. Uh, one of them was good, and one of them was bad, and and you can see, like, here they are, Baba and, and Foot Locker, ugly, I named it, um, and I want to go over I the... The bad trade is going to be the heart of this video. Um, the good trade is pretty simple, straightforward, as good trade should be. Um, the the uh, bad trade is um, just about everything that you, you know, everything that you can think would go wrong um, when there's nothing actually to be wrong about. <laughs> this was a simple, just kind of morning strength trade on morning strength trade versus the SPY. And... Let's turn this into a daily so we can kind of see. Oh, view up doesn't look good on the daily, but view up kind of messes it up. But yeah, uh, you can see this stock likes to gap a lot. This stock has kind of been beaten down over the last week, and it kind of had like a one last, um, one last dip, uh, one last big dip, and the spy was kind of tanking. So I kind of expected Baba to keep going down, but it was on my watch. Um, because it, it was on the gap scanner and I, and I had seen this um, a couple of few days ago in the 70s and I saw it just kind of epically tank. So um, I, you know, I was kind of watching it for the last couple of days looking for a bounce. I, I didn't save the whole chart. I really should have. I wasn't, I wasn't sure I was going to do a recap on this. Otherwise, I would have saved the whole trade. But yeah, you see, I, I kind of bought immediately after the retest and I even gave it one more. I, it looked like I gave it that test. I thought I bought a little bit earlier. Yeah, I gave it that one last follow through. Like maybe it's gonna tank. I think it was we were right here on the spy. That's why I'm like, maybe we'll see. Um, and I bought like right on this candle, and we got this really nice uh, kind of power move out of out of the stock, which is what I really like about large caps. So this stock, uh, Foot Locker, was down. Let's go. Let's pull this up on the daily chart. Foot Locker is a huge gap down. And this is a play that like I've been watching for a long time. I never I don't often partake, but because it looked so perfect, I kind of wanted to try it. So if you look here, $44.50 is a huge multi-month um, low, right? On the daily chart, this 44.50 level is huge, right? It's right here. It's it's the level that you know, if we go under here, we could go back to 40, right? This is a big level, 4450. We're gapping right into support. So I'm immediately thinking long bias. Like I'm like, let's see if we can hold. Maybe like my KSS, my KSS, my Coles trade a couple days ago, it might try to rebound and like maybe if it fails, I'll look to get short. Like and this is going to be on watch next week. Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T-O-S-H at myinvestingclub.com.
I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.